Alex, are you doing another English lesson? Why, yes, I am, Paperhead. It's funny you should ask that. What is it about? Well, I was gonna do it about twenty、uh, common let's phrases. What? Yeah, let's. You can use it in a variety of situations. That sounds useful. It definitely is, Paperhead. It definitely is. Okay, I'll just watch from over there. Over here? Yeah, I have no body, so can you just like put me down? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Very chatty, that person. See you, Paperhead. Just watch and learn. All right, let's do this. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on twenty common let's phrases in English. The language that I will give you in this video is incredibly useful for your daily life. These are imperatives that you can use and that you will hear in a variety of different contexts. You can use some of them to encourage and motivate people, and you can use some of them to well, let's find out what you can do with them. Starting from the top, I grouped these ones together. Because they are all meant to kind of motivate action, inspire action, encourage action. So let's go. Okay, you are trying to say me, you, her, our group. You're trying to in inspire them to follow you. So you say, "Let's go." Next, this is a phrase that I used to use and still use all the time before I entered an English classroom. So as an English teacher. Sometimes I have ten minutes between a class to have a break, and I have to get my materials ready, my books. I have to review things very quickly and say, "Okay, yes, it's present perfect day today." And then when it's like one minute before class starts, I would say, "All right, let's do this." And sometimes my、uh, colleagues would laugh, and they would like it. I think so. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do that. And one of my favorites. Let's do this thing. So this thing can be whatever activity it is that you need to do next, right?、Uh, this is more informal. It is slang. So you say, "All right, let's do this thing. Let's make it happen." Next, let's get to work. Again, all of these just mean let's get started. Let's get to work. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Next. Mm, let's check. Why don't we verify that, right? So you can check information.、Um, so, what year was Bono, the lead singer of U2, born in? I don't know. Let's check. We can check on our phones or on our computers, right? Our、uh, laptops or tablets, etc. All right.、Uh, you can also say let's check it or let's check it out. Now, let's check it out. Is different than let's check, right? Let's check means like let's verify, which I mentioned before. Let's check it out means let's inspect it or let's try it, let's sample it. So if you're walking down downtown and you're looking for a place to eat lunch and you say,、eh, I don't feel like eating there or there. Oh, that's a new place. Do you want to check it out? Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's go. Let's do this thing, right? Next, I put、uh, these ones with the verb try in one category. Let's try. Let's attempt this, right? So try means to attempt something or to sample something. That something could be an activity. It could be a food, a drink. It can be almost anything that you can attempt or、uh, try or sample. So you can also say let's try it, let's try it out, right? So if you're shopping for a bicycle, and you know you find one and you like it, and you're like, okay, well, it's not bad, but I want to try it. All right, let's try it out. Let's see how it goes, right?、Uh, let's try again later. All right. So if you're calling a restaurant or a store and no one picks up, and you say, ah.、Oh, No one picked up, or it was busy. Okay, well, let's try again later, right? So you're、um, encouraging the person to try again later. Next, 
let's try something else. So what we're doing isn't working, um, or I don't like the thing that we're doing right now. Uh, let's try something else. So imagine you're playing um, a new video game or a new board game with some friends, and your friends seem kind of bored, and they're like, eh, let's try something else. I'm not having a good time, or this game isn't for me. Next, let's begin. Let's start. Similar to let's go, right? Whatever it is, it can be at the beginning of a work meeting. For example, the person who is in charge of the meeting might say, okay, everyone is here. Let's start. Let's begin. Let's start the meeting. Let's go. Next, mm, let's stop there. Let's stop here. Let's stop here for now. Let's stop there for now. Um, so this can be a variety of contexts, of course. So let's stop, literally stop. So if you're driving in a car and someone needs to go to the bathroom, right? Uh, let's stop here. So you want to stop the car because you need to use the bathroom. Going back to the workplace context, if you're in a meeting and the meeting is going very long, and you think, uh, we should take a break. We've been talking for 90 minutes now. And maybe the person leading the meeting will say, you know what? I see everyone is a little tired or hungry. Uh, let's stop here for now and we'll come back in 15 minutes. So they're just telling you, you know what? We are going to stop here. Let's stop there. Let's stop here for the moment. And we will continue again in a few minutes. Next, um, I'll move over here. Let's move on. So to move on means to move to the next part of whatever it is you are doing or talking about. Usually this is used, again, very commonly in a business meeting context. So you're talking about one topic and maybe you have spent already 20 minutes discussing one thing and you have talked about it as much as you can. And the person says, you know what? We've talked enough about this. Let's move on. We have a lot of things to discuss today. Let's continue on to the next topic. So let's move on down the list. Let's keep going. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's keep moving forward. Um, so again, let's go back into the business meeting. And the person who is in charge of the meeting might say, is everyone okay? Should we stop? And everyone says, well, I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay too. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going for, for another 30 minutes or let's keep going for another 15 minutes before we stop. Next, let's make sure. So to make sure means to check and make certain of something. So if you can, you can say let's make sure by itself. Um, you can say let's make sure it works. Okay, so if you are uh, a software developer and you just created, you know, a new little program that you're running and you want to tell everyone, it's like, all right, let's make sure it works. Let's, let's test it. Let's try it. Uh, let's make sure that's true. Okay, so if you are a big company or even a small company and you want to post a news story onto your social media feed or your website, and somebody in your company says, I don't know if that information is accurate. I don't know if that information is correct. Let's make sure that's true before we post it. It's like, no, but it makes us look good. Yeah, but it will make us look bad if it's not true. So let's make sure, let's check, let's make certain that it is true. Let's see. You know what that means, right? <laughs> so um, let's wait and see, and let's see, very similar. Um, so you can, you know, if you are waiting for a pizza in the oven and you put it for 12 minutes and, you know, one of your friends is very eager to eat the pizza and they're like, oh, I want to look now. And you're like, it's, it's 12 minutes. Like, Let's, let's wait and see, okay? It's not ready yet. We can wait a little longer and you can see it after. All right, so let's see what's happening over there. Uh, let's wait and see 
and see what happens like in the game if you're watching a game, for example. Okay, the next two, uh, these are similar to let's try something, but they are more idiomatic and they are more informal. So you can say, let's give it a go or let's give it a whirl, All right? So whirl or swirl would be like this, something that's turning around really quickly. Um, if you give something a go, if you give something a whirl, it means that you're trying it, okay? So you can also say, I didn't write it here, but it just came to me, um, let's take it for a spin. So if you take something for a spin, you try it. When you're shopping for a new car, unless you're very certain that I know this car is excellent, it's exactly like a car I've driven in the past, most people take a test drive of the car they plan to purchase. So they will say, all right, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a spin. Let's give it a go. Let's try it, all right? If you have um, a plan or an idea, right? You and your friends are going camping and you have you know, a path that you know in the forest and you, you think, okay, if we take this path, I think we can get back to the campground before the sun goes down and still have a full day. Like, okay, well, let's, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens, all right? Let's, let's try it. All right, next, let's meet up. Um, so this is an invitation that you're giving to a person. You, after let's meet up, you can also give a time or you can give a location. So let's meet up at nine. Let's meet up at the theater. Let's meet at this place or at this time. Whew, let's get out of here, okay? So if you have been at your job all day and you've worked a lot of overtime, maybe this is your 12th hour or 16th hour um, on the job and you're just so exhausted and you say, you know what, let's get out of here. Let's leave this place. Um, it's also, you know, if you're uncomfortable in a situation, if you go to a new cafe or a new bar or a new club and you don't feel comfortable in it, you can say, yeah, I don't feel comfortable. Let's get out of here. Let's, let's leave. Let's go. All right. And finally, let's call it a day. So to call it a day means to end a period of activity. So if you are at the end of your workday, going back to let's get out of here, let's call it a day means, you know what? I'm tired. Let's call it a day. That's enough for now. We'll continue tomorrow. Um, it doesn't have to be only at the end of a workday, but the most common context where this is used is let's call it a day. Uh, if you are in a work meeting as well, the person who is organizing and running the meeting might use this as well. If the meeting is like at the end of the day or maybe right before lunch, they might say, you know what? Let's stop there for now. Let's, let's call it a day. We're not going to talk anymore about this. You know, we've said as much as we can say. You have gotten as much information as you can get right now. So let's call it a day. Let's stop. And um, we'll continue on tomorrow. So that's a lot of information. Very quickly, I just want you to repeat after me. All right. I'm going to try to do this uh, a little speedily which just means quickly. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Let's get to work. Let's check it out. Let's try it. Let's try again later. Mm, let's try something else. Let's begin. Let's stop here for now. Let's move on. Let's keep going. Let's make sure. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Let's give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Let's meet up. Let's get out of here. Let's call it a day. 
All right, now I am going to call it a day for you guys in this video. And if you want to test your understanding of this material, as always, you can check out the quiz. Yes, the quiz with all the questions where you can practice what you learned on ingvid.com. Leave a comment for me. Tell me if you have any feedback or questions about the video or the quiz or anything else that's on your mind related to learning English. And I will do my best to answer your questions um, or just respond to your feedback and say, you know what? Thanks for your support. So till next time, thanks for clicking. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all that good stuff with Facebook, Twitter, etc. And you know what? EnglishAlex.com. There you go. That's another one where you can check. I know you have a lot of stuff to check, but if there is one website that I can recommend, it would be my own. I would be silly not to recommend my own website. So go to EnglishAlex.com for more free and paid English learning resources. Till next time, I know I said it again, but I'm going to say it. No, I said it before, but I will say it again. Thanks for clicking. Let's get out of here.